Hello everyone, Shen Damon here, or Shen Damon, and today I'm here with a different kind of video. Today I'm here with a very brief tips and tricks video that new players may find helpful or not. Anyways, let's get into it. You can force 21 by 9 aspect ratio even if your monitor doesn't support it. This lets you see more horizontally and is used often in PvP and other content to see more. You can use Alt X to disable certain parts of the UI. With each press, more of the UI gets disabled until it's all invisible. If you hold control and use the scroll wheel, you can change your mouse color on the spot. This can be useful if you like to change colors depending on the area. The size can only be changed in the settings. Using the expanded minimap by pressing tab, you can hold down mouse wheel to move it around your screen. You can also hold alt and left click to use waypoints on that expanded minimap rather than opening up the actual map. Island Stronghold progression and leveling will benefit you in the long run. To get started, you need lots of wood and iron to start using the facilities there. Same thing for life skills since leveling those early will help you out. In the quick access toolbar, along with potions, you can put your mounts, stickers, emotes, and songs in that same hotbar, and some other fun items if you want to use them. You can turn off combat effects from other players through the settings. This can be adjusted from raid members only, party only, and enemies only. You can also set it to show only positive effects like bard heals while hiding other effects. This can help out your FPS depending on the situation. In the settings, you can change the way auto move behaves. By default, it's set to just auto move in the direction your character is facing. However, you can set it so that it auto moves towards your cursor. If you don't want to press escape for literally every cutscene, you can enable a setting to do it for you. You can set it to always show your ping in game. Once you do that, it'll be visible right next to your account level. You can change the default text colors of different kinds of chats. Can be useful if you come from other games with different colors. In your inventory, you can disable sorting on items with alt left click. You can split items with shift left click into different stacks. If you have a pet, you can use control left click to send the item to your pet inventory and vice versa. While in the warehouse, you can use alt right click to send the item to the warehouse directly rather than just dragging the items to save time. If you're in a guild and your lead puts up marine missions, some of them are very easy to just spam, such as collecting sea coins. If you have boxes of sea coins, you can just open them up for a very easy mission complete. And you can just farm your contribution points this way. You can respect your skills at any time. Also, once you unlock it at around level 30-ish, you can go into Trixian and try out all skills of a class even if you haven't reached a high enough level to unlock them. Control left click the ground to ping during different instances. If you hold the button, you'll access a ping wheel with different kinds of pings, which can help with communicating to your team. If you want to obtain silver easily, Windrose's Island has daily unas which require you to just go to the ports of cities and receive a decent amount of silver. People typically send alts here using the Bifrost teleports and it takes less than 2 minutes to complete if you have it already set up. Carnelians are a type of currency you can use to purchase useful things like affinity boxes or avatars. You can obtain them through various activities like killing mobs, doing quests, etc. If you really want to push to get something like the affinity gifts, there are daily unas that you can send your alts to do to farm carnelians. It's also worth mentioning that when trading carnelians for affinity boxes, the location of where you trade them matters. For example, in Punica, you can get only Punica boxes. If you're in Burn, then you can access the North Burn boxes. This is used for certain NPCs requiring certain gifts. But anyways, those are just some of the tips I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you may have learned a thing or two from this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and also checking out my Twitch. I'll be streaming this game very, very often during and post launch. Anyways, peace.